happened since like C came out. Um, but they, they came out with a variety of stuff. Um, this thing lights up, it moves, it button. talks. But I would, but it's gonna go on forever. <laughs> 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 and we don't I don't know if we have that much time left. How much time? Anyone anyone know? Like oh, okay, yeah, so like twelve minutes. Um, video games are one of the most enjoyable aspects of Gundam. Um, games have shown up on like every console. Like I said, since the Famicom, there's been Gundam video games made for like every console. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, DS, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, N64, like any system. There's even the arcade games. Um, America has maybe gotten like 12 Gundam games, mostly Dynasty Warriors Gundam, which is great fun. Um, Gundam Battle Assault, which is kind of like Street Fighter, but with uh, Gundams in there. And a couple other, you know, like plot specific ones, like Journey to Jaburo and some Is others. Gundam like, versus Zeta Gundams? Zionic? Yeah, that's what. Zionic Front's Zionic. the best one. Zionic Front was one of the American ones. Um, did Journey to Jaburo? Yeah, Journey yes, to Jaburo was, was for PS2. It was. Yeah. Um, one, of the most, one of the most popular series, though, uh, which originated as an arcade series, is the Gundam Versus series. Thanks to the PSP and its region-free features, yeah. you can import this game from Japan and play it on your American PSP. It's a terrific game, and I'm just going to show you a small clip of what it looks like. It is an amazing game. Just uh, excuse the kind of poor quality. This is the Gundam Unicorn versus the Kshatriya. Um, just uh, watch for it. And this is on PSP. You have your PS3? I'll play you in this. No, okay. I'm really good with shiny guys. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little bit chaotic, but I mean, this is like one of the best examples of how Gundams should be working in a video game. Um, you know, you have your standard weapons, your advanced weapons, there's the mobile suits that can transform, you have your melee attacks, um, you have your limited flight capabilities, or some Gundams, they, uh, I'm sorry, some mobile suits, they can't even fly. Um, I mean, I, I, I've plugged so many weeks into this game, it's so much fun. I'm just waiting for the transformation to show up. Just to show you how awesome Unicorn Gundam Episode 2 is going to be. <laughs> Soon. They have tournaments for this game now. They do. Um, on both PSP and OK. Um, the next. Oh, here it is. So we can keep watch. Bring out giant beam sabers. This thing can just limitlessly combo. Yeah. It's four beam saber. It's it's an amazing thing. It's really cool. That, it's it's such a great game. Is this um, one of those games that you need to understand Japanese to play? Or no, no, no. It's really easy. You're, if you have an understanding of Japanese, it might help you figure out what the missions are a little easier. Um, but other than that, you can just run into it. Look on Game Facts for a, a detailed list of the play controls, and you can just pick it up, go, have tons of fun. Unfortunately, it's not uh, like internet Wi-Fi capable, but there is a local wireless, so you can play your friends. It's, it is up to four players. Is it four players? Yeah, four players. Yeah. Four, okay. people. four people. Can four play people this can play this at the same time. Like imagine that, Tag but with two more, only, two more two more mechas in there. Uh, it's pr it's pretty chaotic. Um, I like doing one on one. That's basically the end of uh, what I've got for you. Does anyone have any questions or comments they'd like to make? If not, um, have some some cool pictures. <laughs> this is uh, I think the cover of the first time you wore Yeah. Do some double O. Really cool double O. I love the designs of the double O Gundams. They're very, very uh, good looking. Here's a Turn A, which is my favorite series. Turn, uh, Turn X Gundam had his own shiny finger attack. Right? He did. Turn yeah. X, um, like I said, when Gundam, Turn A Gundam was that series where everything came together and you had like the Zakus and stuff. Turn X had its own version of the shining finger featured in G Gundam, but it was a lot more brutal and there was lightning and laser and explosions everywhere. Uh, you have a question? Yes, I do. Uh, can we all agree that Nasty Asia is definitely like the 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Undefeated north, south, east, west. Okay. <laughs> nothing else. He'll tell you. Nothing else needs to be said. Master Race has also apparently um, become this internet phenomenon, yeah. Santa Claus thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hilarious, seeing Master Asia dressed up as Santa, carrying a big toy sack, walking through the snow. The whole internet phenomenon yeah. was the Super Asia thing. Super Asia, yes. Super Asia. Um, Where he said that in the series. He did say that in the series, and it became a phenomenon. Um, some more. Here's some Zeta Gundam, Camille, and uh, Captain Quattro. He's not Shar. He's Captain Quattro. He is a Shar. He is a Shar, and that he's not Shar. Isn't Camille a girl's name? Camille is a boy's name, damn it. <laughs> Camille is actually who I'm dressed as uh, right now, though not in that uh, pilot suit. Um, Where are Camille. Your boobs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I didn't even <laughs> um, Camille has kind of uh, got this stigma because Camille is a little feminine sounding and he kind of beats up anyone who says it's a girl's name. This is how he meets his rival. I don't think it's so much a name as look at her. <laughs> a little bit. Like a year old girl. But, you know, most people, when he's like, they're like, Camille, that's a girl's name. He's like, Camille's, Camille's a, a boy's name. name. <laughs> He'll just, like, die with them. Here's some uh, Shars Counterattack, the new Gundam, my favorite, right on top there. This is a zombie, which is, like, Shars' ultimate mobile suit. Um, these were both pretty cool. They had the psycho frame uh, that allowed them to use the fin funnels and the laser bits and stuff. Don't forget the psycho Gundam. <laughs> psycho Gundam. <laughs> Some more uh, double O Gundams, just a uh, different art style, uh, a lot of fan arts. Some Victory Gundam, that's the Victory 2 Gundam, which uh, it's a pretty cool Gundam. First Gundam to feature the Wings of Light system. Yes, it did have. Who else had Wings of Light? Uh, this I, is Gundam. Oh, yeah, right. This is Everything in C. Gundam, yeah. Gundam, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, it just had no. plain uh, wings, yeah. just angel wings. Uh, that was the the remodeled, remade that was, version. Uh, uh, wings are custom. Which you can actually see up in the top left there. Yeah. The Which technically it's supposed to be Wing Zero. It's just a redesign by the draw. Yeah. They, um, called, they changed the names for the model kits. Yeah. They they changed the names to the like custom. 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 Right. Um, these are kind of just reimagined, and you just kind of accept they're like they're. Um, they are really cool. G Gundam. No, uh, you, you can kind of see the intensity of G Gundam. Super Robot! Super Robot! You can kind of no see this. And, yeah, no Bell Gundam, which was like Sailor Gundam. They should have made a sequel. <laughs> they could have. They should make a sequel. Let's see, there's some Unicorn, which I'm, again, I'm so looking forward for episode two because this is just an amazingly well done series. And this is an artwork from Turn A, but this just shows they all coalesce into the same thing. So uh, that's my panel. And uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> Everybody's got to take a picture with my gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, everybody in this panel, you can exit through this door. Door in the front.